everyone, it's Fab Friday and we're live at Stamping to Share Facebook page here. And today I'm going to focus on the starter bundle with the Eastern Palace Suite. And it's so funny because just as I was about to go live, my daughter called me and I thought I had the whole phone set up so that, I, you know, do not disturb and all these things to make sure that I'm not interrupted. I don't know how she got through, but she said it was not an emergency and I'll just talk to her in an hour. So just kind of fun. So thank you, Casey. Thanks for joining me. Um, it's great to see everybody here today. And last week I talked a lot about the Eastern Palace Premium Bundle. That's the $103 bundle that a lot of you have gone ahead and ordered. It's a beautiful bundle, it includes the thinlets that are amazing. And the reason I have my phone set up a little bit different this week is because I want the flexibility to just grab it and to show you this amazing poster board that I did. And I absolutely love it. I'm ready to show my downline on Monday night at our at our um, monthly meeting. And I'm ready to show my Sunshine Club customers. And of course, I'm ready to show you. I mean, really, you're the main reason that I made it. So I will be um, grabbing the phone and showing you that in just a minute. It really is just an overview of everything that we did last week. Um, but what if you're a customer, and I remember this when I had three small kids, my stamping budget um, kind of cut into my Dairy Queen budget because when you've got three small little children, it's always fun to take them to Dairy Queen. And I used to go to Dairy Queen. Uh, I shouldn't even tell you how often. It was quite a bit, but my kids and I all loved ice cream. And so um, when I started stamping in 2000, I had three little kids. And I thought, wow, you know, every time I go to Dairy Queen, I'm spending $15. If I could take that $15, I could actually have a new stamp set with Stampin' Up. And so it was kind of funny. So I hate to tell my kids this, but one of the reasons we stopped going to Dairy Queen so much is so I could put some of that money towards buying Stampin' Up stuff. <laughs> but you know what? It, saves, it saved mom's sanity. So I think that's worth something. Um, but anyway... I was going to tell you that the starter bundle with the Eastern Palace Suite is a little bit less expensive than the Premier Bundle, but you know, you don't get the framelits. And so that's kind of like, oh, do I even want to get it if I'm not getting the framelits? Should I just go ahead and, you know, purchase the $103 bundle and, and have the framelits? I mean, we all know we're going to get the framelits eventually, but Stampin' Up! makes it nice because they do two press price points. And the starter bundle price point is $60.50. So that's a little bit more affordable. Now on the cards that I'll be showing you today, I would have you add two additional products. And, and for those of you that are really into crafting, you may have something you could already use. But I'd have you add a roll of our metallic gold ribbon because it works so beautifully with those gold vinyl stickers. And then I would also have you add some of the gold foil paper, which also looks phenomenal with those gold foil stickers. And so, of course, the gold foil stickers are included in the starter bundle as well. So I'm going to grab my phone and do a little turnaround here, and I'm going to show you this really beautiful, awesome, and amazing um, bulletin board that I did with all of these beautiful cards and and kind of features some of the things that we did last week. So this is just a little bit of a review. So let me find the camera here, and I'll stand up so you can see it. These are some of the beautiful, um, you can see the different dies that we use from the stamp set. And some of the in colors are featured here. And as we move along the board, you can see these gold foil stickers, which are just incredible. And then, of course, the Premier Bundle has the tassels. I haven't actually worked with the tassels yet. I only have this. Uh, one piece for the tassels and I just have it on my bulletin board because I want to display that to my customers and then if you move up I have the pricing and the part numbers for that bundle along with some beautiful card samples now last week we made this card right here at Fab Friday and this week we're actually making three cards I'll show you those as soon as I as soon as I move this bulletin board but I just had to show you this bulletin board because it's all put together and it looks so awesome. Right, so let me show you the cards we're making today. Are you ready? The first card is going to be, well, this will be, I don't know if it'll be the first card, but we're making three cards. So these are all the three note cards that we're making. And they are so pretty. So here they all are in all their glory. 
So here's the first one that we're going to be making. This uses that new Lemon Lime Twist ink, and I've got a really cool technique to show you how to get the sticker on without, um, without it kind of kipping. Because when you have a, a big round circle and it's kind of flimsy, it'll kip a little bit, and it can be high, kind of hard to put onto your card. So I'll give you a little trip, trick for that. And then here's another one that uses sticker. Now these are all from the free note cards that you get when you purchase the starter bundle. So you get a set of note, 20 note cards and 20 envelopes. And then here's the last one. And again, fresh fig, and then this is the, the Tranquility, Tranquil Tide, and then the Lemon Lime Twist. Those are the three ink colors that come in this bundle, along with the three colors of paper. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna show you, because all of these cards are kind of made the same way, we can just cut all our paper at the same time. Now you don't have to cut your envelopes or your, um, or your card stock for your base cards because that's your free gift. So here's three of them. So I've got those and I'll set those aside. Then you're going to need three strips of the pattern paper. And so the pattern paper is also included in your starter bundle and it's the Eastern Palace pattern paper here. I'm gonna move my lights so I have a little bit better. Oops. Let me move, here we go. This might be a little bit better lighting. There you go, so here's our Eastern Palace paper. And we're going to need three strips. And so you can make those about four inches long because we're gonna trim those even. And I just wanna show you the strips that I did. Oh my gosh, where did they go? I had them, here they are. They're three fourths inch wide and then I think they're about, I don't know, Four inches across but you could make them a little smaller if you wanted to I just I just did it because it was easy to do then you're going to need your three pieces of gold foil this is three and three sixteenths by four and eleven sixteenths and I know you're all rolling your eyes like oh no there she goes again using those weird measurements but I'll, sh I'll show you why here's one of the cards and I just think that I don't know, I just felt like when I had the full 1 4th inch layer of the gold, it was too much. And it seemed like the vanilla was diminished. And so I wanted to go ahead and just shave off a 16th of an inch there on all four sides and it just looks so much better. So that's what I did. So that's why we have these weird measurements. And then we have, of course, our Fresh Fig, Dapper Denim, and Tranquil Tide. And that's three by four and a half. And then we have our very vanilla paper. That's two and three fourths by four and a quarter. So you're going to want to get this all ready at once. And then we're going to do all the cards at once. Because just because it's, it just makes for a quicker, you know, kind of more efficient way of putting your cards together. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm not going to be able to see the comments anymore because um, I can't I can't look at the screen and, and craft at the same time, so sorry about that. But I am just going to go ahead, I'm taking those note cards and I'm just folding them all along the score line. And we are just going to get this all ready. So I'm actually making three cards today, which is a first for me. I don't know that I've ever made three cards before on a video, so I'm kind of excited about this and looking forward to it. And we'll see if we can do this in a nice, efficient manner. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take these three pieces of vanilla and we're going to do our stamping. And so I feel like I need to grab my stamp mat and we are going to go ahead and start stamping and putting our strips on. So let's do that first by just adding our strips. So I'm going to take some multi-purpose liquid glue at the bottom here and we are going to put the first strip on. And one, one of the reasons I removed that white mat is this gives me high contrast so I can make sure that I have everything nice and even. So here's another one. And you'll see how quickly these cards all go together, especially when you do them kind of in a batch like this. And then the final one. All right, now what we're going to do is we're just going to flip them over 
and we're going to take a scissors and just trim those edges. And again, this is where some of you might want to make your strips just a little bit shorter. But like I said, I was just cutting paper and just cut what I had on hand. So now we are we're pretty much ready to just go ahead and do our stamping. And so for the first one here, we are going to use Lemon Lime Twist. It's a wonderful new color. We're going to stamp the sentiment first. So it's enjoy today. We're going to stamp this up here. And then we're going to take this, this wonderful stamp, which has so much versatility, is um, kind of this flower shape. And we're going to set it right down in the middle, give it a nice press, let the ink soak in for a second. Then we're going to re-ink it, and we're going to twist the stamp 90 degrees. And I am going to have to stand up because I have to look over the top here to, to make sure I'm getting this lined up as well as I can. We're going to stamp it down, and then you're going to see something that just looks so cool. Look at that! Doesn't that look like kind of an old-fashioned spirograph? It's just so much fun. So now we're going to frame this beauty, and we're going to frame it with one of those gorgeous gold vinyl stickers. So I have the gold vinyl stickers here. And I want to give you a tip because the problem is when you take one of these stickers that have a that has a lot of loose area and you try to set it down and you're trying to get it off your fingers and put it on the paper, it can kind of kip, which means it's sort of, um, you know, it'll sort of kinch up and then it doesn't go on straight and then you get frustrated and then you try to pull it away and it's not working. So what you want to do to prevent that kip from happening is go ahead and take um, a piece of dimensional paper. So at one time this was full of dimensionals but I've used them all up. Then I'm going to take this circle and I'm just going to set it onto this dimensional paper so it looks like this. Then I have all the support that I need to go ahead and put this onto my card. So now I can make sure that I get this exactly where I want it. And I'm only worried about the top half because I know if I do the top half right, the bottom half is going to be perfect. So you can see how perfectly that went on on the top half. Now I can take my dimensional paper and I'll just flip this up and look at there. It's on here perfectly. So I hope that's a good tip that's going to help you with using your open circles that look like this. Now the next thing we're going to do is take another circle and we're going to take one of these down here and I'm going to use my paper piercing tool. As many of you know, I absolutely love a paper piercing, piercing tool for both stickers and for putting jewels on. It just works so great for me. And now we can accent that. The next thing we're going to do is just add a little bit of that gold metallic ribbon that I was telling you about. And this, it, this would be an add-on to your bundle, but maybe some of you would already have this at home, which would be great. And I am going to do something that you rarely see me do, and I'm going to do it on all three cards. And the reason I rarely do this is because when I do classes and things, my customers have a very hard time doing this and so I don't like to make things hard for my customers and honestly sometimes when I do it it's a horse apiece as to whether it turns out but I'm actually not doing a wrap around and taping it I'm actually going to just put put the ribbon on here <laughs> and say a little prayer <laughs> actually I'm gonna try to do this without you know my fingers shaking off here but I'm going to do a tie-on here, an all-the-way-around tie-on. Oh, I think I already goofed it up. All right, let me try one more time. I did it yesterday three times in a row, and I was so proud of myself. I said, okay, you are ready to share this on video. So we'll see. We'll see where we go now. I'm trying it one more time. Please be patient with me. It's just like my fingers get bigger and bigger as I start working with this. Okay, now I have it all ready, and I think all I have to do is tighten it. I think it worked. It worked! Hallelujah! Okay, now I can kind of wiggle it into place. 
And then, just because I'm completely anal about this, I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape, despite it all, and put a little scotch tape on the back, because I just can't help myself. Okay, so now we're going to take a scissors. We're just going to trim this up. I promise I'll get faster. Here we go. And there we go. We have one of our cards almost complete. So now we can go ahead, and we're going to be putting this one onto a backing of the blue. So I'm going to, oh, you know what I did? I didn't, I did this a little bit wrong. Maybe that's why it was harder. On the original card, I actually put the ribbon around the blue piece too. And here I was trying to do it around just the vanilla. But I think the vanilla looks good. I think I'll make all three of these like this. Looks perfect. Okay, now we're going to add it to this gold foil piece. Again, weird measurements, 3 and 3 sixteenths by 4 and 11 sixteenths, but it's just one of those things. It just looked better to me that way. So again, I'm just going to take some multi-purpose liquid glue, and we're going to attach this here. And I love the glue because I can just wiggle it into place, make sure all my layers are nice and even. And then the last thing to do is, again, you can use some multi-purpose liquid glue, and you're going to put it on the front of your card. And what's nice about these note cards is it's the thick whisper white paper. Now in the Premier Pack, you get an entire pack of thick whisper white paper for free. But in the Starter Bundle, you are working with the note cards and envelopes. And that is also the thick whisper white. So we have our first card done. Now of course you'd want to stamp your envelope. So you could do something like this in the corner, just kind of reflecting what the card looks like. All right, are you ready for the second card? The second card we're going to make is going to look like this one. So we're going to go ahead and get started again. We're going to take um, one of those vanilla pieces that I prepped, and we're going to start by stamping the sentiment. So we're going to take the hello, we're inking it up in the Tranquil Tide, and we'll stamp it up here. Perfect. Now we'll ink up the shape, and we're going to stamp that right here and then for this one we're going to add another sticker so the stickers make these cards go really fast so here's here's the sticker we're adding I'm just gonna pull it off and then again I need to kind of step up here so I can get my head a little bit over my project to make sure we're getting this in right and there it is that's so pretty Okay, now we're all ready at the ribbon tying part. You can see how quickly these cards go together. And we're just going to tie this on. We'll see if I do it any faster. This time I'll try to do it from the roll. Or not. <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh, I, just, I just don't have enough experience doing ribbon this way. All right, so try it again here. Oh, I think this one's working a little faster. There we go. Got the ribbon on. Looks pretty good. Again, I'm insecure about ribbon, so I'm going to tape the back, keep it in place, and then we can trim this up. And there we go. All right, and again, it's the same routine. So we're going to back this now with uh, some tranquil tied paper. Put this on with a little snail. And the reason I'm using snail on this particular piece is because it's our regular very vanilla. I just used our regular very vanilla paper for this layer. There we go. Now we can go ahead and we'll put it on the gold. And wiggle that into place. Aren't these beautiful? I hope you're enjoying these cards. It's a, these are a great set of cards for the for this starter bundle. And then finally we're going to add this to the front of our paper right here. The front of our card. And we have another note card ready to go. And again you'll want to add an envelope. Let's see if I can find my envelope for this one. So I just added this shape um, in a couple of the corners, and it looks great. 
Okay, now before we go on to the third card, I want to share with you that if you are one of my customers, you know about my paper perks. And that is when you purchase at least $25 from my online store and you use the current host code, you get a paper perk with your thank you card. Well, I have a very special paper perk for the rest of May for anyone that's placing an order with me using a hostess code, and that is you get a four by five and a quarter inch stack of the Fresh Florals Designer Series Paper Pack. So these are all new in colors, and there's actually 10 sheets. Normally my paper perks usually are only six sheets, so this is all 10 sheets because you get two each of each in color. Look at, aren't these gorgeous? And so that is my special perk for everybody placing an order and using a host code this month. So thank you so much to all of you who have already placed orders with me. And your paper perks, well some of you I'm sure have already gotten them and others of you, the paper perks are on the way. And I just got my big order in yesterday from Stampin' Up! with all of the new holiday, or with all of the new catalog pre-order items that as demonstrators is a very special perk and I have some more stacks of these, so I'm getting ready to cut those up and put those in to um, create some more perks for you. All right, so let's move on to the very final card here, and we are using Fresh Fig this time. So just like with the other cards, we're going to stamp the sentiment in the upper right corner. This one says thank you. And then we are going to stamp that nice big circle. Put that right in the middle. And then we're going to add a sticker. I tell you, adding these stickers is so much fun. It's just so easy. So we're just going to, remember that big circle we had in that first, that first card that we did? Well, there's another sticker inside that circle, and so we're going to use that in this card. So I'll just set this in. Oops, I think I better stand up, make sure I'm doing everything right here. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness, it just makes my heart race. I just love it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and we'll take this, this gold ribbon again and we'll do a tie around. And again, I'm just, I just, you know, I, I've had people show me over and over how to do these tie arounds and I don't know, it's kind of hard. Sometimes I can do it, but I think on video there's just so much more pressure that I get a little nervous and then it's harder to do. But it looks like the third time is a charm here. I did that one really fast. And I know I'm wasting a little bit. So you can see why I typically have my customers do the tape around with the ribbon and then the tie on because it's a lot less stress. Okay, we'll add a little tape to the back here to keep it in place. And now we're ready to do our layering up. So again, I'm going to review the layers with you one more time, just because I feel like some of you probably joined in on this video a little later. So all of our white panels, that we, or all of our very vanilla panels that we were stamping on were two and three fourths by four and a quarter. And our our colored cardstock that we use, Fresh Fig, fresh fig um, the Tranquil Tide, and the Dapper Denim. They were all cut at three by four and a half. And then our final piece here is the gold, which was three and three sixteenths by four and eleven sixteenths. So these are the things we're just going to layer up. So I will layer this up with a little snail. Just set this in, fits beautifully. And then we can go ahead and do the rest of our layering with multi-purpose liquid glue. And these cards, again, they lay nice and flat, so you'll have no problems just putting a stamp on them and putting them in the mail. That is the main purpose and the main point of making a card is to give it away. That's what's so beautiful about um, Stampin' Up! It's a company that's all about giving. 
and I just love being a part of Stamping Up. I've been a part of Stamping Up since 2007, and it's just blessed my lives and my family's lives in so many ways. It's just un unimaginable how many blessings we've received by being a part of this wonderful company. Okay, so here's the envelope that I created with it. You can see how pretty that is. Just took this little stamp right here and just added a couple of circles in the lower left-hand corner of the envelope. So let me go ahead and review the projects we did. Again, this is with the starter bundle for the Palace Premiere, or the, the what do they call it? The Eastern Palace Suite. So here are all the cards. And thank you so much for being a part of my um, live broadcast today at Stamping to Share on Facebook. I truly appreciate you. If you'd like to place a product order, you know you can always visit my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com where I have lots of links there to take you to my online store. Or I have a Shop Now button as well. Anyway, regardless, I truly appreciate you and hope that you have a wonderful day and a great weekend. Bye-bye.